that's carried. Thank you very much, Bruce, for that. Great, so we'll move to item nine, so the capital performance report. Um, so we've got Paul and we've got Nikki, and it's Nikki's first time in front of us, so be very kind, everyone. Uh, Welcome along. Uh, morning, I'll present this today on behalf of PMO, um, just given that this is Nikki's first meeting at the council, so I'll, I'll run through this uh, report today. Um, so we did have a strong uh, year for delivery across the capital program, um, and that was despite some challenging economic environment, um, including, as we've alluded to before, things like inflationary pressures, consenting issues, uh, external funding changes and uncertainty. Um, but that led to a few innovations and changes in the way we've delivered some of the capital program, um, alternative methodologies and things, which have been outlined at some previous meetings to councillors, so they're aware of those. So the final spend was $708.4 million, which was pretty much 100% of budget. Um, that's including the Takaha spend of $206.7 million. Uh, excluding that, we spent $501.7 million, which was 104% of budget, uh, and that was up a, a higher than the original forecast that we had of about 470. So we finished pretty strongly at the end of the year. Um, as highlighted in the performance report earlier that Peter presented, um, in terms of milestones, which is projects delivered, um, we achieved 86% across the program. Um, and just breaking that down into some of the key areas within the, the capital program, Three Waters was 84%, Transport 91%, Parks 82%, and Rec Sport and Events 84%. Uh, and we've also highlighted some of the key deliverables throughout the uh, report and the different sections to, to show which projects and what projects were delivered in, in that throughout the year. And that's pretty much. Do you want me to go through the watch list net now or uh, come back to that? Well, I mean, everyone's had a chance to read it, um, so I'm, I'm quite keen to take this read, and if there are questions on it, then we can go through that. So, okay. does anyone have any questions on the watch list? Yeah, we want to make one change to the watch list. Um, we yep. wanted to move the, uh, one item that's currently suggested to come out to put it back in. Yep. So that's the major cycleways Otakura Avon route. Um, project 26601, we want to put that back into the remain on the watch list rather than remove. Cool. But otherwise... So, so we'll just read. incorporate that into however you want to do it, assuming people are... <laughs> Is everyone happy with that? I'm happy. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Great. Good. Um, Yanni? Oh, yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm happy with that. I also just um, wanted to see if we could add the Improving Bromley Roads project to the watch list and also the Eastern Relationship Project. Um, so, you know, the Improving Bromley Roads has been an ongoing project that was initially council funded. Uh, then central government came in. I guess you've, 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 you've asked the question. So and now it's come back into the budget. Yep. So. so can we just get a view on, I mean, are they appropriate to go into that watch list? Um, I don't know that project off the top of my head in but terms who, of... Who's the... the uh, John? Yep. Just to advise council, the Eastern Relationship Project isn't a part of the capital program. It's not a capital project. It's a uh, it, it's it's a, uh, a broad based approach to uh, uh, re engaging with the east. Okay, right. So well, maybe the Bromley Roads project then. So the Bromley Roads is. Well, I mean, the reason for raising. No, it no, is... no. You've asked. You've asked. Okay. Okay. It's okay. Um, <clears throat> there's no particular reason why it couldn't go in there. It's. It, I, I understood the criteria for watch list was generally they were large or particularly strategic, and I don't think it fits either of those criteria. But if it's one that council wants to be on there, there's no yep. issue with it. It is. It is um, council's prerogative if they want to add this. Yep. Great. So, so can I just move a wee amendment? No, no. Do, do, so you're good. You're all. You're all done. Yeah. I, I had one specific question on the um, the high level commentary. Okay. Do, do that now, and okay, then, cool. then we'll get your stuff added in. Yeah. Just just the transport projects. Um, just, just trying to understand that I'm reading the, the the page correctly. So sorry, I'm just scrolling back up to it. Um, so that's page 87. So when we look at <clears throat> their actual results and the net carry forwards, what I'm just trying to understand from there is, um, I'm trying to get a sense of how many projects have been over budget or cost more versus what we anticipated versus 
um, we're doing more work. Is there is there an easy way to kind of get a sense of that? Because you know, obviously, we've seen a number of costs increase throughout the year, and we've got a really good change process. But I'm just trying to understand that when we're budgeting for projects to occur, and we're I'm trying to understand how much we're exceeding that forecast budget for the individual projects. So effectively, we delivered 122% to budget for transport, but we and we delivered 91% of projects to time. So, so crudely speaking, that difference between the 91 and the 122, some of that is, or a large of the matter of that, will be the cost pressure. So, so is that? So we do, do, do we know it's what a good question, percentage yeah. of projects have gone over budget, over forecast budget? No. Or can we find out? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Cool. So if we could get that circulated, that would be handy for me. Uh, Mr. Chair, just. Um, Disco early discussions I've been having with the PMO is looking at ways that um, we can report back to you not just on the financials but on on exactly what's been raised as to what we've actually delivered. Did we do the kilometres of pipe? Did we do the, yeah. the kilometres of road sort of thing? So we've it's not that easy to pull out, but we're going to have a look and see how we might report that back. I think what you're asking though, Yanni, is, that, is if we've spent $100 million on yeah. transport, have we delivered the hundred million as we said we would, or have we delivered eighty percent of what we said or, we would? Or has it just cost more? Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah, that, yeah. that's what we're, that's what we're wanting to try and find yeah. out and get back to. You. Okay, cool. Mm. All right. Yeah, and there seems to be an issue with us um, getting increased costs during the construction already being let, mm. rather than ahead of. And Having I'm just the control of the. I think control, yeah. also understanding the timing of when the, the costs are known, the increased forecast, because we don't. Some projects we, we obviously get a report to council. Other projects, I know you're in a contract situation, so you just have to continue and try and find ways to, to do it. But yeah, it is, it is starting to concern me that a number of the forecasts are not as accurate before we go to construction. Oh, good, but good sometimes point. the scope changes during the job as well, so there's various yeah. reasons. I, I understand. All right, so let's but, not, let's but not you remember the coal tar issue, yeah. right? And you remember the North Haven Road report, yep. which I've so seen. You, so thing. point well made. The team are going to come back with some stuff, so that, that's awesome. Okay, uh, Tyler and then Sarah. And then Celeste, did you have something? Or are you you're good? <clears throat> Mine are really quick, two quick questions based. Uh, we've got referring to page 96. Um, the first one is uh, ID number 41987, which is the Eddington Brook filtration devices. I thought the design was already done. Um, is this a different stage that we're at at the moment? Right, uh, so the, this is the next day. This is the detailed design. So the, the concept has been done as to what we're doing. It's out for detailed design now. Okay. And last one is where are we at on the... I see that we're at the procurement level and maybe I'm just misreading things, but the wastewater record and interceptor, um, that's one underway. Good to go? Uh, yeah, I'll just check on... I'll have to check on the status for you, but I believe that uh, has been let. Cool. Thanks. All right. Thank you, uh, Sarah. Yeah. This isn't a this is we're on the content of this one. It's just a based off the the fact that we're talking about lots of large capital assets, those kind of things. When we're going to get an update, um, if we can get some information, we're going to get an update on our asset management work. Like we haven't had an update sort of really in a while on the work that's happening there on our asset management stuff based off that report that we got that showed that we weren't doing as well as we should be. So if we can get an update on yeah, that. Yeah, we'll, we can yeah. take that offline yeah. and come back. Great, cool. I think we're all good. Perfect. Uh, so I'm happy to move. So we've added in, Celeste, you'll be happy. We've added in your major cycle way. And Yanni, we've, we haven't added in your bit yet, I don't think. Have we? Proven Bromley Roads. Oh, the Bromley. Can we add in the Bromley Roads? Uh, uh, so everyone's comfortable with that, adding it in. <laughs> we'll note your abstain. Uh, we'll note your vote against, Jake. It'll be fine. No. <laughs> no. Um, what what number is that project? Bromley Roads. Uh, improving uh, on. Yeah. Just just put in there and Bromley Roads. Six seven nine eight nine. Six seven nine eight nine is the. One very quick thing. Yep. Um, I, I just see that at the bottom of the mm. page, there's a talk about adding the organic smart redevelopment, um, into the capital watch list for 2026. But given that I mean staff, I mean given that that project is progressing and there's some clear milestones, do you think it would be worth doing it now? I think I think we would come back to that. So I don't I don't want to I don't think we should today. 
but we'll, we'll add in the other ones you've raised and we'll be good to go. So yeah. so I'm happy to move this and cool. Phil's happy to second it. Uh, any discussion? All in favour? Against, that's carried. Great. Thank you very much. Cool. Right. <laughs>